and welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna make tacos de cochinita pibil this recipe is special this is a very very special recipe because I think that if you are thinking about something inexpensive easy to make and that most people are gonna like this is the one this is easy and so good so let's start with the ingredients you're gonna need orange juice oregano, salt, vinegar, asciotte paste, oil, black pepper. For the protein, we're gonna use pork and for the vegan version, jackfruit. You can also use seitan. We're also gonna need garlic as well. We're also gonna use for the salsas and the toppings, uh, tomatillo, habanero, onions, beans, salt, garlic as well, lime, pineapple, vinegar, and it was missing in the picture, but we're also going to use avocado as well. So let's begin with the pibil sauce. This is super simple. All you need is the asciotto paste. Then you're going to use garlic, salt, orange juice. You can use fresh orange juice or you can also use Tetra Pak. Now I'm adding also some black pepper. And then we're going to add oregano, oil, you can also use olive oil if you prefer and then vinegar and make sure just to use something neutral because if you use red wine or white wine vinegar it's gonna change too much the flavor now we're just gonna blend everything until it's perfectly mixed and that simple and that quickly the pibil sauce is ready so now we're gonna chop the pork neck that I'm using and I'm also making a few incisions to allow the marinade to penetrate all the pork meat. You can basically use any part of the pork that you would like to. You could also use pork belly. But in this case, I'm using the pork neck or also called caster. So now all we gotta do is marinate it and then cover it with aluminum foil. And you can let it be for a few hours marinating in the fridge. Then for the cooking, this is very important. First, we're gonna put it in a high temperature, 250 Celsius, 480 Fahrenheit, for only half an hour. And then we're gonna decrease the temperature of the oven all the way to 90 Celsius, 190 Fahrenheit, and leave it cooking for nine hours. And this will give you the end result of a delicious, super tender pibil pork. Now, for the vegan version, we're gonna marinate the jackfruit and as I mentioned before, you can also use other protein base and then simply just make sure that everything is perfectly covered with our PBL sauce. This one, we're just gonna leave it here and then we're gonna start with the salsas. So you're gonna chop some garlic in big chunks and then we're also gonna slice some onion and these are the ingredients that I'm gonna use for our salsa de molcajete, which we've also done in other videos before. Then with a spoon, I'm gonna spoon out the seeds of the habanero because we don't want it to be too spicy, but we wanna have all the fruitiness and the flavors of habanero. For the other salsa, I'm gonna use yellow habanero, and this is only mainly to just bring a little bit of a different color to our preps. And then we're gonna cut red onion in slices, just like this. And this is gonna be for the Shinepec onions. It's not mandatory, but I like to put pineapple to my Shinepec onions. So we're gonna use all the meaty part and we're gonna cut it in small cubes. And then we're gonna add it to our Shinepec onions. These are super essential to make real and authentic pibil tacos. So now that we have the onions and the habanero, I'm adding salt and then a little bit of oregano. And you cannot appreciate, but you also have there the pineapple that we cut. And then you could use lime juice or you can also use vinegar. In this case, I'm gonna use vinegar because we're already using lime juice for other preps in this same recipe. And in some places, they also add a little bit of beer to this Shinepec sauce. Mix all the ingredients and then let it rest in the fridge. Meanwhile, Let's move on to our frijoles refritos for which I'm frying here onion and garlic like we've done in other recipes that we've made the same recipe of the frijoles refritos. Then comes the margarine 
and I actually forgot I'm gonna add some salt as well here it comes and as you can see now it's uh, losing liquids so it's very important you add some fat you could also use butter so that they don't get dry and then we just keep smashing and smashing and then they're gonna start becoming some sort of like a paste so then you have your authentic and delicious frijoles refritos which are super important for this recipe and here we come back to our salsa so I'm just frying the habanero, the garlic and the onions until they blacken and then I'm gonna move on to put them into our molcajete but you can also use a food processor or a blender I just like them here because it's more traditional and then you get a little bit more texture to the salsa and then I'm gonna also fry the tomatillos which in this case I'm using canned ones but if you actually have access to fresh ones it's even better so now I'll start smashing the garlic the habanero and also it has the onions and I added some lime juice and salt then I start adding the rest of the ingredients to our salsa which in this case it's the tomatillos here they come and then we smash and smash and smash and now we have our delicious salsa tatemada which is smelling amazing and I just can't help myself I want to eat it right now but let's move on to warm up the fillings so here is the marinated jackfruit and I'm simply gonna fry it this is simply the jackfruit with the pibil sauce it has a great texture and a great aroma and it's super fast actually making vegan tacos sometimes is super super quickly and I have to confess that often just to make it easier here at home we might as well just make them vegan and then just you know a couple minutes and you're done but here now we're taking out the pork that's been cooking for roughly speaking 10 hours and it just looks amazing I mean it's super tender and the smells that are just coming from this delicious preparation are incredible there's a little bit of sourness and there's a little bit of this uh, citrus flavor that came from the orange and you can clearly smell it and as you can see it just simply melts and it's extremely tender so let's assemble our tacos I'm gonna begin with the vegan ones so first we put the frijoles refritos on the base and now I proceed to put the jackfruit that has all the delicious pibil sauce and it's super steamy and the smell is just making my mouth water so badly and then we're gonna put a little bit of chinepeg onion that now it has already softened the flavors of the onion once the vinegar has made its job and basically kind of cooked it we put some limes and then I'm also gonna put these slices of avocado that I cut as a circle just to make it a little bit more interesting and make a little tiny decoration for our super amazing vegan pibir tacos and as always for the final topping coriander and salsa and I'm gonna put just a little bit because these ones are for talbiki there we go and now let's make the meat version with the pork so same way beginning with the beans then we take a few pieces of this delicious pork that as you can see is just simply getting tear apart by the fact of like picking it up from the container and then I'm adding the salsa 
I'm gonna actually put plenty because I really love all these flavors and the habanero, how it works with this pork, is just amazing. There's no better salsa to top and to go with these flavors and habanero. I'm actually gonna add a few stripes of habanero I just reserved for myself. I'm adding the avocados, the limes, and then obviously I'm gonna put the shinepeck onions. And I mean, I've mentioned these onions a lot, but really, this is essential. If you don't have these onions, it's gonna be missing a, a very, very important part of the topping of these traditional pibil tacos. And then, well, a bit of coriander, in this case a lot, because I love it. And here we have our pibil, vegan and regular version tacos. All super simple, super quick, and delicious. All right, now we're done. Look at this, oh, so good. And this is one of the most traditional recipes. I mean, there's no comparison in general. Everything's pretty traditional, but this is just beautiful. This is from the south of Mexico. So when you think about Cancun, which is like the Mayan area, it's not only about like margaritas and uh, Americans getting hammered during spring break, it's also about culture, it's also about this food. It's also about, about habanero, because mostly habanero is used in this cuisine. That's why I try to use habanero in like many different ways in only this one dish. And um, well, this time I'm gonna skip the, the vegan, because my girlfriend is so hungry and she's looking at me like, don't you get a bite? <laughs> so, provechito. But let's jump in into the house full pork. I used to call it house full pork instead of pibil. And it's funny, I would like to hear about you guys and your opinion, but sometimes in my, in my experience, it feels that when you present our food, traditional food, traditional Mexican food to other people, uh, it seems easy to, to sometimes give a little bit more easy names to understand or catchy names. And I don't know why, but when I used to sell this in my restaurant, if we call it Cochinita Pibil, maybe because of the area or because it was so unknown and so so new to have a Mexican restaurant in here, nobody really paid attention to it or bothered to ask what is it about. But in the moment we call it the house pulled pork, boom, number one selling. People love this. If you're gonna cook food for your family, for your friends, you wanna show them Mexican food, this is a one, yes, like it's a it's a sure thing to go. I I, I think nine out of ten times people are gonna love this like you can make mole you can make enchiladas you can make other tacos but th this is the this is the one that easily everybody likes it's for everybody and uh i don't know it, it's also so simple you saw how fast and how easy we made the marinade so let's jump in so we put a little bit of lime here ah uh, let's leave the one this one there for the first bite hell yeah Look at it, beautiful. A little bit of onions on that bite. Okay, it goes with everything, con todo. And you know, the beans, sometimes people skip the beans. When I've been down in, in Riviera Maya and I've been having this dish like in the different places, like homemade, especially, they don't skip the beans and they add to it. Don't skip the beans, really. They, they bring an additional part to the flavor that it really rounds up everything. Especially because the recipe is a little bit sour. You got the preparation of the marinade, it's a little bit sour, the onions are sour, you put a little bit of lime. And I, I believe that the, the, between the balance of the tortilla and the beans, they just round up the dish. It's just a perfect 10. And you guys are gonna have to be the judges of it, please. Prepare at home, enjoy it at home, love it at home. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, to give it a big ring to the bell, to like the video, to share with everybody, to share these recipes, to share the love for Mexican food, and make sure to give me in your comments how did it went. I'm really looking forward to reading it. And uh, till next time, we say, uh, if I can do it, you can do it, and provechito, and this time also, mm, Bon bon, so it's goodbye. <laughs>